now we're going to introduce Irini, who is also one of my first uh, clients, actually, and I haven't seen her for a little bit, which is very exciting. Uh, and Irini, I think you're calling from the US. Hello. Yes. Hi. <laughs> so good to see you. You look so well. You too. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's been a while. It's it, so because mm -hmm. you moved across to the US. You're in the US now. Yeah, it's been a year and a half. Oh, well, less than a year and a half. More than a year. More just over a year. We're in Kansas City. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And yes. Yeah. And are you, are you coaching now? I think you were yes, moving into. I am. Love I it. Am. Love it. I've got my certification. Ooh. All because of you. <laughs> Uh, no, I, well, it was going to happen. We knew those strengths. I mean, so, and again, it'd be really good for you to kind of share for everyone. Like we spoke, we've spoken to another parent, a working mom, um, about kind of the coaching process. But yeah, when you came to coaching, it was more for your son with ADHD, yes. wasn't it? Alex, how are you? Yes. How's he going? He's okay. He's okay. He's doing okay. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. doing more sports. Yeah, things are... Th things are getting easier yes yeah how old is he now he's 13 wow Gosh, yeah it's crazy i know yeah. i know oh. yeah so w when i first came to you i it was because i suddenly realized that he needed a lot of consistency from me and organization and planning and i didn't feel i could do that on my own because I kept, I had new ideas. I kept changing them. Anyway, so I came to you thinking, okay, let's see, maybe this person. You know, I thought I, I knew you were an ADHD coach. I thought you'd understand what I'm dealing with, and you can help me. Um, and of course, it ended up being, I, you know, I don't know if I have ADHD or not, but I think I probably I'm very close to the, the spectrum, if you like. So it it helped me. Um, yeah, you, you help me get organized. You help me learn how to prioritize. You help me create the, the weekly plan um, where I can see everything. Yeah, and then, and of course, it started like this, but then it became a lot more than that. Yeah, as we know. That's it. That's, yeah. yeah, it really did. And, and you're probably one of the rare kind of parents that firstly come to us for actual coaching for parenting. Um, yeah. You know, not many you know, most ADHD parents will come to us mostly for themselves, like individually, rather than for parenting their child. But you are mm -hmm. one of the few, actually. Um, yeah. But they, it does tend to go back to you because what did you learn yeah. about how to become a better parent, right? What did you learn in coaching? Yeah. In terms of what really um, um... God, so many things. You're, you're, you're still. Your voice is still in my head so much. Um, I, I, you know, I learned that I had to not try and do as much. I learned that it was okay to not be perfect, <laughs> to make mistakes. Um, I got some amazing tools for um, reorganizing and and sort of creating a little bit of a structure in my day, which then would help me with Alexis and beyond. Yes. Um, what uh, I, I, I learned one of the biggest things that I re still remember to this day, and, and I, I tell my kids, still we use it a lot, is eat your frog. Like do the oh. thing that is the most important and the most impactful and the thing that once it goes, everything else will seem easy in your day. This is so, and I know the days that don't go well, is because I've been avoiding the big thing. I, I, it's so that was so impactful, and even now I use it with my my children. You know, when they're overwhelmed oh, wow. with homework, I'm like, "What is your? What's the thing you absolutely hate the most? What's the frog? What's the biggest thing? Let's start with that, <laughs> and then everything oh, else will be yeah. easier." That's um, good. But, it's it's hard though, isn't it? Because with ADHD, because you know, interest is the thing that kind of motivates yeah. us. Yeah, the starting with the ugly frog is, is really hard to do. So how yeah. do you, yeah, how do you kind of get them into that? Uh, I mean, it is the most important, definitely the right thing. Do you do any kind of like you know ignite some of the momentum at all to get them moving into it? Um. So with Alexis, who's my ADHD son, I know 
things have to be interesting. And I know I also know things have to come from him. Like he needs to make the decision. So I just start asking him little questions. Um and 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 eventually, and then I leave him alone, and eventually he'll come back and say, "Okay, I'm I'm gonna start with this." Or guess what? I've done it. You know, he has started doing homework on his own. Woohoo! Never thought we would get there, and it's suddenly sort of happening. Yeah. Um, I know he he needs. He he, you know, he's not the kind of boy who's gonna come back home from school and say, "Yeah, let's get homework out of the way, and then I can have fun and play." No, he postpone, 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 and suddenly uh -huh. he'll sit and do it. So. I don't get stressed anymore about, oh my God, oh my God, when is he going to do it? When is he going to do it? It's like, okay, I know he wants to do it. I know he wants to do well. So he's, th there's less friction. I'm fighting him less. We're trying to anyway. That's fantastic. No, but that's, yeah. I mean, that's key, isn't it? Because what yeah. happens, what happened when you did kind of push? Oh, it's, it's not, it's, it's exhausting for him. It's exhausting for me. It, 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 we constantly need to repair the relationship because we've, you know, we've had a clash. It, it just leads to escalation when I'm constantly, you know, trying to push him to do things my way. Um, and I'm also beginning, I'm also recognizing when he's hyper and he needs, you know, he needs the, to, to actually just calm down and me constantly saying, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are it's like, it's, yeah. it's just feeding his hyperactivity so now i'm trying to okay you you actually need to come down here and I, I might go and use some stroking or hugging or just some technique something to even lower the tone of my voice you know something to calm him down a bit and it helps me wow. as well right because then if i'm calmer he's calmer and that's another big thing i learned with you um the, the, you you introduced me to meditation. You introduced me to the app Calm. Ah, uh, yes. And yeah, and and I know when when things are going, when I feel like the wheels are falling off the wagon, I'm like, okay, I need I need to, I need yeah, to maybe start uh... meditating again, or just to take a minute and take a few breaths. Um, that helps massively, massively. Yeah, that is pretty, something that, right. yeah. Mm, yeah so that morning ritual that we kind yes. of developed together yeah yeah the morning rituals to basically to feed me so that I can so I have energy to nourish him and the family the rest of the family because it's not just him it's everybody no. yeah yeah and as the mother you know this is the thing isn't it if you don't have kind of capacity in your tank yeah right you can't yeah hold the space for particularly a child with ADHD that might you know, meltdown might be yeah, yeah. problematic. You know, if yeah. you don't have that capacity, what happens? Oh, it's awful. Explosions. It's awful. It, things yeah. escalate out of control. That's what happens. And then it's everybody leaves exhausted. You haven't you haven't done what you wanted to do, what you wanted them to do. You know, the relationship gets not ruined, but um, goes under pressure. So yeah. But very big on yeah. so I now have a thing where I it's more about exercise I, I make sure I exercise every day well five in the week and and it helps it helps me stay calmer it helps me keep a perspective plus I feel I've done yeah. something even if nothing else gets done it's like yep I've had my thing but but exercise and and I I I tell them as well my kids but especially Alexis like I know when he does exercise He's a lot calmer, so we're focusing a lot on make sure, making sure he gets exercise in his day. Right. Yeah. I mean, it is. Yeah. You know, it's a form of medication, isn't it? Exercise, yeah, basically, kind of. It is. Something. Absolutely. Mm. Regulates Absolutely. you. And, yeah. Yeah. So, what about your your journey? So, obviously, there was. You know, we worked on stuff like that in terms of you know increasing your capacity, getting those rituals in, kind of you know more effectively communicating. Alexis yeah. what about um remember your I remember actually when I got you to I said okay let's do your vision do you remember how you reacted to that vision you didn't like it I, you didn't, I don't like doing visions I still don't like doing like, oh, visions vision. kind of yeah yeah do you remember <laughs> the vision it was like yeah what 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 did you find so tricky about kind of creating vision your vision 
Uh, oh, for me, it's because I, I have so many ideas and my brain can go in so many different directions. So narrowing it down to a single vision, it's like, oh my God, FOMO, fear of missing out. How can I narrow it down to this? What if I want to do this or that or that? So there's a lot of yeah. this. It's like scatter brain, lots of ideas and trying to, okay, let's, let's calm it down and see what's the actual vision. Yeah, I, I find yeah. that difficult. Yeah, even now, the, the creating a vision for myself, it's easier. I've now done my coaching training. So, you know, there's a lot more self-awareness. Um, one thing I remember did... from our, yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah. No, I think you're going to say the same thing I was going to. What, what do you remember? The, yeah, I think it might be the I same thing. Go on. There's one phrase that you, you had said to me, one of the many that really stuck was, well, two things. Um, get, get out of your own way. <laughs> I remember this and I, even now I remember it. I think, yeah, Irene, come on, like, Stop putting obstacles yeah. up for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one is um, th throw your backpack over the fence. Do, do you remember? Oh, yeah. Throw your backpack over the wall. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Over the no, wall. Yeah. Say, yeah. Throw your backpack over the wall. I, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. do that still. Like, like just, just make a decision and go for it. And if it's not the right decision, it's okay. You can change your mind. But it's not the end of the world. Let go of perfectionism. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, you got you do have the words in. That's yeah, yeah. great. Oh yeah, completely. Yeah, I carry you with me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> some people would be horrified by that. Get my admin team would be horrified by that. I think. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, but you're doing. Really, do you remember when we did your signature strengths? You weren't very happy. With yes. Them. Do you remember? Oh yeah, God, because the first I one that. I still remember it was fairness, and I was like, "What the heck? How is this going to help me with anything?" What kind of strength is this? <laughs> and then it changed completely the way it, I, I started realizing how how true it was and how it had led a lot of my, you know, choices and decision making. Um, yeah, the signature strengths were a, a very strong tool, and 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 yeah. it was surprising how it, it was a big realization. Like I as a, yeah, I remember when the result came out, I was like, what the heck is this? What, what, what does this mean? Well, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> How's this going to help these me? Are very good. Yeah, I'm not very happy with these. These are very good. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and now I've come to embrace it because I realize, well, okay, this is, yeah, this is how I function. This is who I am. And, and let's leverage this rather than fight it and think, oh, fairness, what kind of strength is that? No, great. That's me. Because yeah, what were you doing? It is, yeah. And what were you doing when you first came to coaching? What was, what were you, what industry were you in? I was in banking, in private wealth management. Um, you know, very intense, very competitive, long hours, pressure, high flying career, very money oriented. Uh, yeah. And I, I knew I wanted to get out. I knew it was. It, it was oh actually when I came to you, I had started working I think in a in a smaller boutique still in finance still in private wealth management not in a bank anymore, and I was not fulfilled it was not. And 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 and, you're the first person who heard me say uh, it was the first time I ever said the words, I think I might want to be a coach, and and it was yeah. like, you know I expected the world to fall apart and and you were like. Finally, I thought you would never say it. <laughs> yeah, because your strengths, yeah. right? Yeah, the more you kind of started leaning into your strengths, I think, mm -hmm. you know, I said each is particularly if you're in a background like, you know, finance. Yeah. You know, those kind of flying. A lot of us ADHD is, you know, because of our RSD as well and our need to, you know, be challenged and stimulated, we do find ourselves in those kind of careers. And, you know, it's very hard to kind of, what we see is kind of not stepping stepping down, but, you know, like, oh, this high-flying, fine at the bank, you know, because same thing, I was in a bank as well. Yeah. And going from that to coaching. Yes. Like, oh, how on earth am I going to, who am I going to be? How am I going to do that? How am I going to live my banking identity? Yeah. 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 But and and you it's been, it's been a journey and I, I did it. I mean, because do you remember I, I, I told you, and then I started looking into maybe I could start doing a course, and then I was still not decided. 
And then COVID came and I lost that job. And I was like, okay, this is it. It's now or never. I'm doing it. And yeah. I, 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 I'm so, so grateful, so happy. It's such a different journey. And I'm so proud now to say I'm a coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no well you had all the strengths you know you had all the yeah. strengths and just every time you were talking in session as well it was always you know you were trying to oh let me this person can do this and that you were always you know mm -hmm. oh I know about this thing you, you could see that love of learning right yes yeah uh, and so kind of like yeah. ask you well, how are you using that in your current job and oh yeah so you started, do you remember so yeah, more yeah. and more Exactly. Basically, more and more leading into the, you know, my signature strengths and and my values, and and so it's it's a lot more fulfilling than than banking ever was. Yeah. Um, so as a, and yeah. So you're setting setting that up, and how how much more satisfied, fulfilled do you feel? Oh, like night and day. There's no. I'm not saying it's not challenging setting up up yeah. on your own, and but. I, I overall I love it <laughs> so yeah and I'm, it's, it's I'm who always, you are. yeah yeah and it's super creative I'm always thinking of things that I could do um yeah you know the drill it's uh yeah and now it's more about okay let's focus on one thing rather than the million things that I want to do and and start with I'm doing and move on to the next well your, your clients will solve that problem for you because it'll all be yeah. about, you know, about them and what they want to do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And and you get the, you know, in terms of that variety as well that you yeah. obviously need, right, to stay interested in the challenge. You know, coaching mm. provides that too, you know, because you'll coach yeah. different people from different backgrounds, different industries, you know, and because yeah. they're ADHD, They'll love to share as well. So they'll be sharing. You yeah. know, you'll be learning. You learn. You learn so much as an ADHD coach. Yeah. You know, you yeah. really do. A lot of them are so resourceful. I mean, I learned, a, you know, so much from you. You always have you this podcast. You yes. still send me podcasts and, you know, yeah. you, that <laughs> learning. Yeah, you still, you know, I still learn from you. And, yes. and that's the beauty, you know, of, mm. of coaching ADHD, yeah. right? Yeah. And, having real authentic connections too because that's another thing about ADHD is is that you know they're very genuine and authentic yes and so it's a, you really form strong connections when you're coaching yes um, absolutely yeah. yeah 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 so any kind of any kind of last words around kind of coaching for people that might be you know with ADHD that might be considering it what would you advise them oh absolutely do it you, you, I, I, I don't think you can do it on your own. I'm sorry. As capable and amazing as everybody is, I think, I think it's so. It, I, I think coaching for ADHD provides um, like a the, the the structure, and then you can climb up it and get to the next floor and the next floor, and and it gives you a blueprint of of which to operate. So, so when I feel I'm falling off the wagon, I, I seriously, I go back to all the structure we had created together. Like it's that, that's what I go back to the weekly diary, the weekly planner, um, the prioritizing lists, uh, the eating my frog, like, like I know I have that to fall back on it. Very, very, very solid. So yeah. Sorry. The operating manual, kind of like the, it's exactly. like a personal operating yeah, it's like a personal operating manual. Yeah, and and mm. I, I and I know it's done for me. It's it's to fit me and my needs, you know, because we worked like like you. It's almost like you present me presented me with the tools, and I picked and choose what I'm gonna use and what I'm gonna build. It's like Lego, but but you need to get you need to go and get the Lego though. That's what you you have to go to the ADHD coach for that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you and built build something together. Yeah, and you're still you're building, and you've got the foundation. Yeah. I think that, yeah. yeah, you've got the the plans, but you've got yeah, the it's plan. funny when you yeah, and yeah, when you were talking, I remembered. I think there was a session where you felt overwhelmed, and we literally, I think the visual was everything was on top of you. So it's interesting yeah. the analogy you used in terms of you know the coaching kind of coming out of that you know yes. place of overwhelm. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um and and also it's it's a it's an opportunity as a coachee to especially with ADHD to to press pause and to try and put your thoughts in order like to to process things which which yeah. you may or not, may not be able to do on your own but definitely you know at the hands of a skillful coach like yourself it's it's really um I think it's life changing. Yeah, well, like, yeah, for I mean, me, you changed my life. I mean, I always say, I, I, the reason I became a coach is because I had an amazing coach, and I, she got me to a point where I could say, "Oh my God, this is what I'm realizing. This is what I want to be doing." Yeah, H how much more do you need to be convinced? Yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's um, such. <laughs> Yes. yes, and and it is a and even with my son now, Alexis, we he's seeing. We found here somebody who is an ADHD coach for for adults and children, um, and and I think it's I'm, I'm I feel so relieved that that we have somebody that I don't have to do all the work that I'm getting some help. Yes, we do, yeah, and, and you know, and that to me is like that is success in terms of HD coaching. The fact that you know you're leaning into support networks that you know oh, yeah. you realize, yeah, we that I love that your message is we can't do it alone. I love that that's your message because oh, absolutely, HD, yeah, we can't, and we don't. It it doesn't make any sense either, and we we deserve the best support possible so that we can, yeah, you know. The more we give ourselves, the more we can give to others as well, our kids, yeah, yeah. you know, our clients. So, yeah, yeah you're, you're thriving. It's great to see. Yeah. Get, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Get all the support you can. That's my message. And and an yeah. ADHD coach is a must. I, I And I hope that by doing this, my son will also know that when he grows up, it's okay to reach out for help. That there might be times in life where okay, you know what? I need to go to my ADHD coach or whatever it's gonna be. It, and that's okay. There's no shame in it. There's no oh, no. Yeah. No, it's the smart thing to do. Like this is exactly it's the smart thing yeah. to do. In, yeah. Interdependence, not independence. That was our whole ADHD awareness month, which mm. is tomorrow's the last day. But it's the whole interdependence, not this silly message education, you know, gives us, you know, independence, independence. That doesn't work for us. Yeah. So you're yeah. doing it and modeling for your son too. So you're yeah. killing it. Yes. It's so good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's so good to see you. Let's you too. Yeah, love to catch, up. catch up separately Likewise. at some point. Yeah, we'll Thank talk you. about your coaching. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Reedy. Thanks, Stephanie. Great to see you. Bye bye. Bye.